Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Acer Aspire 3 laptop. The exact model for this one is an A315-59 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can service, clean and repaste your CPU so it doesn't overheat and it will last longer. You should be doing your own servicing, cleaning, repacing once every eight to nine months, depending how heavy you use the laptop. If you use the six, seven hours a day, or you have a heavy load on it, then you might want to do every six months. But I highly recommend it at least once a year, you should be doing your repaste. All right, just remember by doing repaste cleaning, you're not uh, gonna lose any files, any configuration and stuff like that. Everything's gonna be the way that you left it before. It's just simply a maintenance. This is not a user benchmark testing this uh, thermal paste and stuff like that. And uh, people are always say, oh, use the auto thermal paste because it's gonna last longer. It's not the question of the thermal paste, how long it's gonna last, because a thermal paste normally lasts between uh, two years, three years, they can last depending on the stress that you can put on them. But the question is, how dust is gonna get dusty even before that. So that means you put the most expensive thermal paste that lasts 10 years. But if you don't open and clean it up, the fan system, so there's no point. So I'd rather use a good brand thermal paste and buy a one syringe and change the paste once every year rather than have a very expensive one that I should be changing every couple of years. And again, it's expensive. Anyway, but that's up to you guys what kind of thermal paste you want to use. I'll recommend you the one that I, I use for my clients and for my own personal computer. All right. First thing first, you want a good screwdriver set. I'll recommend the iFix screwdriver set. I purchased myself this basic set. You're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you purchase the Pro set, they will give you an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Next, you need one sheet of the workshop towel. These workshop towels are really important. People always say, can I use a work uh, microfiber towel? No, do not use microfiber towel. I'd rather you use a Tissue from the washroom, tissue, toilet paper, or any kitchen towels and papers than microfiber. The reason is for the next one here. You're gonna be using a 99% or 98%, not anything lower than that, isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol. The reason for my, the workshop towel is once you put an alcohol right on top and you wanna clean the component, the CPU, GPU, this will rip apart and will prevent damaging on the motherboard. But if you use a microfiber towels, they will get tangled on the capacitors and they can damage them. So use the workshop towel. Alcohol. Next, you need a one toothbrush. Use the new toothbrush, soft one, not hard one. A good thermal paste. Yeah, I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can go with an Arctic MX6, which is the recommended one MX6, which is the next version of this one. They're really good, cheap, and reliable. But if you want to go overboard, overkill, go with Thermal Grizzly Extreme Edition. These are expensive and they're really good too. But they're expensive. All right. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. So first thing first, once you power up, you're going to remove the bottom screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer questions in the comments area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, you're gonna grab the opening tool. We are gonna start from the corner, bottom corner in the front. You're gonna stick it right in there between the covers, and we're gonna twist it. We're gonna hear those big click sound that you're not breaking anything. Don't worry. So that the clips are getting loose. You want to do all that in the front, go to the corner. You see I'm sticking about two or three millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. So just a tip and just twist it. You want to hit those click sound. That's what you want to hear. Go all the way back to the corner. And once in the corner, you go back down there. Put your finger in there and create a little tension in there while I'm holding the case too. So I'm sticking there. There we go. And then twist, twist. Work yourself all around in here, all the way to the next back corner. Then you can just bring it out, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. Use that toothbrush to clean the bottom case and blow some air. You can even wash it out, leave it for dry. 
if you want to. All right, and down here, we can see the whole motherboard, the two pipes, two heatsink pipes, one fan, it is dirty. I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little, had a little fog on the pins, so that will not uh, push the air nicely through. So first thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery. You're gonna put your fingers on the side of this jack and we're gonna pull it back evenly. Make sure you bring it back evenly, not sideways. Next, we're gonna uh, remove the tape over here. This is a gaffer tape, you don't need to, otherwise, because it's not a sticky and you put it in, it's gonna get it stuck in between the fan. So dump it, get a gaffer tape if you wanna pull it, but you don't need to. Next, we're gonna remove the fan cable. Same thing, don't pull on the cable, there's a really fragile cable. You wanna put your fingers on the side of the jack, white jack, and then you wanna push it evenly towards the fan. All right? Next, we're gonna remove the three screws for the heat sink. One right there, always cross screw them and cross screw remove them. Get to the habit of doing that. Once you remove the screws for the heat sink, you're gonna remove two screws for the fan. Now once we do that, we're gonna grab it here and we're gonna bring it up and I can see, look at this plugged up right there. This is what I'm talking about. You get really, really dusty in there. So bring it up and we can see the two CPU dies one is the CPU die, the second die crystal is the PCS chip, the South Bridge chip. They used to have it in a different location, now they bring it on the same place, so they can share the same heat sink. So you can take it outside, use a heat, uh, toothbrush to clean it up. Remove the fan, lift it up. You can remove the fan without removing the heat sink if you want to. If you want to put expensive thermal paste, put expensive thermal paste. And then put it in there and just remove the fan up. And with a toothbrush, clean up the heat sink and blow some air. And that's it, you don't need to remove the heat sink. But I always recommend to change the thermal paste on a heat sink. So I'm gonna take this one outside. I'm gonna use a toothbrush, blow some air through here and clean it up. And when I'm back, we're gonna repaste. All right, now that I cleaned it up, you can see nice and clean the toothbrush, clean up the fin, the area, everything. Now we're gonna repaste and clean it. You wanna grab a little bit of the workshop towel. We're gonna put an alcohol right on top and we're gonna wipe over the CPU, half wipe and turn around and just remove the big chunk, go in between them, just do circular motion like that and then you clean up everything. All right, and then use a dry part, do a single two ice patch, make sure there's no particles on the crystal die. It's nice and clean. Same thing in here, put your fingers at the back so you don't bend the heat sink, and then wipe the excess. And use a new towel to clean up the heat sink. Use a dry part. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one line on the main CPU die, and one simple drop on the small die. Once I'm done with that, first I'm gonna put the fan. Before I put the fan all the way in, I'm gonna connect the jack right in there, push it in, it's straight, and then bring the fan connector in there, bring the heat sink over, drop it down, do not lift it up again. First we're gonna cross screw the screws for the heat sink. They have a little number on them, it says one, two, three, four, but doesn't matter how you start as long as you cross the screw them. So that doesn't matter if I can go two, one, three, four, so it doesn't matter how you start, but you wanna cross the screw them. And the reason for that is it will spread the thermal paste evenly over the CPU right on the crystal die. And then you wanna put the two screws for the fan that you removed. There we have it. To finish it off, Grab the connector for the battery. Make sure, please make sure, always put it in it's evenly, it's straight in. But don't go sideways in, goes straight in. So many cases, so many times people try to put this one back in or pull it out. They pull it out sideways or push it in sideways and they shorten the pins in there and they create a big spark and goodbye motherboard and they have to go to repair shop. Always go push it in straight. Be at extra attention on this one. Once you're done with that, Oh, I forgot the glunk of this dust in there. 
you can put a gap for save over this fan, but nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna stay there. So don't worry about it. And put the cover on top, push the corners, the front, the side, the back. Make sure you do nice big click sounds. That's what you wanna hear. And to finish it off, to just put the bottom screws all over this case. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service for your Acer Aspire 3 model A315. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.